The two diagrams at the bottom represent uh, pumps and uh, we have flow going into the, the pump and then the flow coming out is represented uh, on the left by that blue arrowed wiggly line and uh, it's a bit like a fountain. The height, the total height of the fountain would be up to the maximum potential energy, in other words uh, Z1 or height times by G acceleration is gravity and if instead of having the pump pumping vertically upwards we were to have it horizontally and put a, a valve on the end of it, not necessarily fully closed but certainly uh, one that we can open or close then that would generate a certain amount of pressure or pressure head on that discharge side of the pump which we could measure by the uh, manometer which is shown there in blue on that right hand diagram and again that would be a certain height of liquid that would represent the pressure in that line. This is a well known effect where we put uh, a glass into some water, uh, fill it full of water and pull out but don't let any of the water out. Um, the water doesn't drain, it stays there as a column, there's a, a vacuum stopping that water coming out at the top but if we just slightly raise the glass then air can come in to fill that vacuum up and therefore it discharges. And this is how we're going to illustrate exactly the same principle with uh, some experimental equipment which includes a staircase that goes up just slightly less than 10 meters in height and what we're going to do is take a tube of water all the way up that staircase and here's our other piece of the experimental equipment the bucket of water with the vacuum gauge and we start it at the bottom of the stairs and that plastic tube at the bottom of the vacuum gauge is full of water and as we raise the gauge you can see that a vacuum is starting to be registered and we've taken it up one one of the flights of stairs you can see that's just a single flight of stairs and uh, the next flight we're now up to about 0.4 of a bar in vacuum and we're going to go up another flight of stairs we're just slightly over 0.6 of a bar at that flight and then at the top of this staircase available to us we're now at just under 0.8 of a bar and that is just slightly less than 10 meters in height uh, so in theory it should be a higher vacuum than that but obviously we've had a bit of uh, vaporization so that we're not pulling a perfect uh, vacuum from that column of liquid that's the total height of the stairs just illustrated there and this is the staircase department of chemical engineering at uh, Loughborough University so all we simply did was was take that tube which was sealed it had water in sealed at the top by the vacuum gauge and we just took it for a walk up the staircase and measured the vacuum that that induces on that uh, vacuum gauge and it was about 0.8 of a bar so if we think about back to this diagram again concentrating on the diagram on the right instead of having the manometer on the pump discharge think about what happens on the pump suction side obviously now instead of a pressure we've got a vacuum on that suction side of pump you could imagine the pump si situated at the top of the stairs and the implication there is that it's possible to cause problems for the pump by having a vacuum on the suction side and that's what net positive suction head is all about it's trying to ensure that we don't have cavitation or uh, bubbles forming on the suction side of the pump due to a lack of pressure due to uh, either trying to pull up from too high a distance or even friction loss uh, through the fittings on the suction side of the pump